This ain't my business, but I just know about it. We back up in this thing. One more thing. Voice of the Ranch and LTF Ugly Man, man. And it's your boy, Nesto the Dunn. Don't forget the Dunn. Yes, sir. Iceberg Pac Man. Uh, and uh, who, we, who, 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 who we got in here with us today? Big Sack. We got Big Sack in here, we, man. We got sack Big Sack, man. Yeah. And welcome to That Ain't My Business. But let's talk about it. And we in here once again, once again, man. So what brings us together on this glorious day, man? More business man, that ain't ours? Yeah, exactly. Okay, man. And uh, Big Sack. Uh, tell, tell them what big sack means. Is it because you got a big money sack? Strictly like, by Chase and Chettle. Bro. I already did. I'm with all Chase that. I'm with all that. I'm with all that. Man. I already know. You heard me. You heard me. Well, you know, people, we here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to introduce big sack to the world or in, in, introduce them to the 12 uh, subscribers we got. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> no, nah, we got 600 now. We got, we, uh, we, we got 600 yeah, subscribers. Yeah, we moving up in the world. Yeah, we like, uh, you know, the Jeffersons. Man, moving we up got, to the east side. We got 600 niggas watching us. We get 600 more. We might better start picking a hat cat. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that is? Man, you got all that damn gray hair. You don't know what picking from the hat cat is? Nah. No. It, it don't matter though. One or none, you got to get it done. Yeah. Ooh. I still don't know what the fuck y'all talking but about. It's dropping gems, ain't it? Yeah, hey, that's them beans. Yeah, boy. Don't sweep the dirt off the dough. If you do, you sweep the good fortune. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, yeah, what? 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 That ain't no good one? <laughs> that ain't no good one. No, I just heard that somewhere. If you step on a crack, you break your mama back. That ain't no good one. That ain't right. That nigga fell fucked up. Now you working with something. That, that's some intelligence there, <laughs> buddy. That's working with something. A man that sleep on the floor can't fall out the bed. Yeah. That's some wisdom right there. That nigga that wild. Did you know underwater fish don't stink? It's water wet. Under <laughs> huh? Water, it's water wet. Water, water itself not wet. You ain't wet till you get out the water. Whoa. So when you in the water, you ain't wet. Mm mm. I ain't never think about it like you that. You can't be wet while you in the water. Once you get out the water, that's when you wet, my nigga. I guess when the air hits you, that's when you wet. Yeah. So when you in the water, you just in the water. Yeah, you just in the water. You not like you not wet long as you in the water because you in the water. Yeah, How can you be wet? How can you be wet in sense. the water? Because you know what I'm saying. You not wet till you come out the water. That's why underwater fish don't stink. Like you get some fish and take the fish out the water, that shit stink like a motherfucker. So a mermaid pussy don't can't get stinky. Mermaid pussy don't stink. Oh, so we need to start wow. throwing these bitches in water. Just put them bitches in some oh, water. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> dip them holes in some hey, man. <laughs> dip, dip them holes in some salt water. Mm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That might, so that might dry it out. Exactly. Man, so big sack, man. Look, you know what I'm saying? So what's good with the deal? What you say, where you got, man, where you from? You know what I'm saying? Where you started off and what you doing and how you doing it? Can I hold five out? 
<laughs> yeah, you need five for real. Yeah, I'm dead ass serious. You joke. Right, man. Don't Screw get it to him. He don't do nothing but buy pussy with it. I wouldn't give a damn what he buy with it once it's out of my hands. Shit, shit hell yeah. Shit, I don't need but a hot five. You feel me? Yeah, man, yeah. God is going to bless him. <laughs> you give it now. to you in one so you can split it how you want to. Hell yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Pay me that chip jar over there, Jane Hall. That's for the chip jar. Hey, look. He can come back anytime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Big Sack and y'all started something now. Every time a guest come, come on here, you gonna put five dollars in the tip yeah. jar. Yeah, you, hey, man, you need to outdo the, the first man before you. Yeah, I'll do the first man. Pac Man, you going in your wallet? Nah, no. I ain't on my. I ain't got no wallet. I ain't got no wallet. Why you ain't got no wallet? See, I always lose. <laughs> I fuck that shit, man. I feel like this this extra shit. Yeah, what, yo? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We here to talk to Big Sack, man. You yeah, Big Sack, go on, tell them about, about about your brand and good vibes only. Yeah, man. You know, I'm from the Cooper Road, man. I've been fucking with this shit a long time, man. That music, shit. I fuck around with a little activism here and there. Uh, man, I just be I just be on the grind, man. On the circuit. Uh, I try to keep shit less controversial as possible because I can't really just deal with the conflicts and the controversy, my attitude and and and, and my anger issues. You know and, who you sitting next to? <laughs> I know, I know exactly who I'm sitting next to. Oh, but okay. but you know what I'm saying? It's just me personally, just me personally. Nah, yeah. I don't, um, man, my I, I can't. My patience is thin for a lot of this shit, so I shut a lot of this shit down. Whatever I stand on, that what I stand on. I ain't with the conflict. I mean, we can we can we can talk and resolve some issues, but all yeah. that back and forth shit, mm-hmm. I ain't with that shit. Word. But yeah, man, I fuck with that music. Uh, I always fuck with it. So it's all about like, man, since I was a kid, shit. I think maybe about when I was about twenty one, I put out my first. Well, nineteen, then twenty one, I put out my first single with Ike, uh, Swinging Elbows. Uh, I'm actually the first. Local artists to ever rap artists to ever perform at the Good Time Road Festival. Um, mm-hmm. That's 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 through my boy Fred Moss. He always was over. There. I think he stepped down last year. Um, him and the uh, Omegas. Yeah, you got a relationship with Jab Jab. Man, I've been knowing Jab. I've been knowing Jab, Baby, Three Feet, Cool Mark, all the radio personalities. I I even had a radio. I I even had a cool relationship, working mm-hmm. relationship with DJ Daryl. Yeah, that's how far man. back I go. Yeah, that's far back, man. Recipe DJ Dow. Yeah, that's how far back I go. Um, I used to call a radio station as a teenager and freestyle and shit like that. Yeah, yep, Jab, man, I've been knowing all them cats. All of them, I tell you, man, I've been around this motherfucker a long, long time. Just mm-hmm. fucking with that music and shit. Just working, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to, you know, stay I'm- afloat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a couple years for like, maybe like about seven years, I took care of my mama. You know what I'm saying? We stayed... Right, right around the corner, around there, and um, she got sick and shit, and I kind of fell back on the music. I had a lot of shit popping. I had shit popping in Florida. My manager at that time was from Florida. Um, I had different shit set up in Atlanta, Houston, but I fell back once my mama got sick to like actually take care of. And when mm-hmm. I mean take care of, I ain't talking about financially. I'm talking about take care, of, take care, of. yeah, yeah, take care, of, take care. Of. Around so, by what uh years that was like that what? was uh. That was right after I got shot. I got shot um, in 2003, March 1st, 2003. And uh, after I got shot, my mama health, once I got better, my mama health started yeah, declining works. later in that year. She had already started having little health problems mm-hmm. before I got shot, but it started declining later in that year. So I made a couple more trips out of town fucking with that music. And uh, she told me to keep fucking with it, but from the doctors, they wanted to put her in a nursing home. Mm-hmm. So she was like, shit, you know, my, my my legal name, Jeremy. So she was like, Jeremy, you can just go on, you know what I'm saying, do what you got to do for the music, put me in a nursing home, and that's, and that's that. But I wouldn't do that, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I knew it would have killed her quicker than anything else, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I fell back, put my career on the hold, um, and took care of it. During that time, um, that's when I started fucking with. I had already knew Papa. I met Big Papa when he was like, 12, 11, 12. Um, I started fucking with him heavy with his music, like through the through the breakup. Even with me, I knew Papa before he was with Mandigo. I knew him when he was with Mike Brown, him at Boo Style. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I met him. At, <laughs> and um, just through me, through me riding through Allendale hustling and shit, shit. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was hustling in the streets. 
He saw me, remembered me, hollered at me. I took his number, and from then on, we've been jammed tight. So during his rise, I was right there in the background helping him with whatever he needed. That's how I met Hootie. Yeah. When Hootie came along. You know See, what that's what I was going to ask, too. Like, with you being from the Cooper Row, I know a lot of people just... Uh, uh, a lot of people from the Cooper Row had kind of close connections and shit like with the bottom and shit like that though. But with you being from the Cooper Row, how how was that living in? That's why I asked what year because you told me you got shot. So I was like, what year was it? Yeah. Like, My mama moved over here. Uh, she didn't want to stand. No, nah, she moved over there. She moved over she there. Moved over. No, she moved on. No, no, over there. Too. Yeah, she moved up. Yeah, she yeah, moved over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, well, she moved to Queenborough. Uh, she moved to Queenborough in like 2000. She ain't want to stay on Cook Road no more. Plus, my grandmama stayed in Queenborough all my life, so she kind of just wanted to be closer to her mom. Mm-hmm. So uh, she moved to Queenborough. Um, shit, I ain't never, like, motherfuckers would see me. Like in this area, and motherfuckers was always, you know, like a couple motherfuckers I know, like he from Queenborough. Now I never, I never represented Queenborough. I'm not mm-hmm. from Queenborough. Mm-hmm. I just lived in Queenborough. Word. But motherfuckers that really knew me knew I was from the Cooper Row. Um, and actually, the dude that shot me, I already knew him. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know that was that was just a little friction right there. But it never just really gave me no type of, no type of plex because I always, I always moved around and mind my minded my own business. You know what I'm saying? If I was ever in some shit, best believe I didn't start it. The nigga was fucking with me. It was probably some shit over female, some hating ass shit or whatever. And, you know, as, as men, we going to stand on our own too. But I ain't never just never been one to cause no shit. I, my own boys, I was always in the thick of shit with, with them sometimes. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But that's just the nature of the situation. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool staying in Queen Bro to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was my mama's spot. Yeah, so you kind of already had relationships over here be with your people been staying over here? Yeah, with well, my grandmama had already been staying over here, uh, well, in Queenborough. Yeah, well, over there. there. <laughs> yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Over but there. yeah, with my grandmama had already been staying over there. Well, but, <laughs> yeah, but, the crazy, but the crazy thing about it, though, I'm going to tell you some real crazy shit. Um, I, was going to, um, I was going to Southern. We were still staying on the Cook Road. I was going to Southern. Well... Fucked around, um, I had like a little rap contest. I had, um, I rapped in it, I entered it. I won second, but I had first place in the bag because um, like I was I was kind of popular, people fucked with me and shit. Then the head cheerleader, they was judges. The head cheerleader was my girl at the time. Yeah. yeah. I had to win it, I had the first place in the bag, but I cussed, I cussed. And they let me start over. I got right back to the same. I had just memorized the rap the night before. Mm-hmm. Got right back to the same spot and cussed again. So they disqualified me. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, this other this other group, a unit, they won first place. They was called, they call itself Burn Unit. Bosco, here turn to Bosco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was part of that. Um, my boy that be selling the barbecue, uh, Jason Redman. Yeah. He was part, part of that. Of, yeah. And it was a couple more cats. Well, I didn't um it was this it was this other cat from uh from Bolger. He didn't rap with him, but he was cool with him. But anyway, um him and him him and old girl, he was trying to holler at old girl. She wasn't just really fucking with him Your like girlfriend. that. Yeah. So he wasn't she wasn't really fucking with him like that. But anyway, some friction kind of kicked up. We had an altercation at Southern, you know what I'm saying? But then when my mama moved off the Cooper Road and moved to Queenborough, she moved right across the street from Jason Redman. Dang. And me and this nigga don't get along. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I realized, when, when I came help her moved in, then, you know, he was outside. He see me like, like damn, that's, that's automatic plex. I'm like, mama, why did you? I won't be over here. I'm going to yeah. be in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I won't be coming over here. So, you know, just that kind of helped grew a nigga up because, shit, me and cuz end up because my mama and his mama ended up being friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> now through that, me and him got to find a means to, to yeah. be but cool. But that's one thing I, I, I noticed too, like, uh, just watching life, period. Like, a lot of times, even when niggas hate each other, like, when when niggas forced to be around each other, they tend to find a way to like 
coexist. Not so, all like, the time. Uh, not all the time. Yeah, nah, no. it, it, but but for the most part, for the most part, most people tend to learn how to coexist. Co- it's yeah. niggas, it's niggas that real life be out here ready to trying to kill each other. Right. But they go to jail. And yeah. then they form relationships inside jail. But that's right. different. So, that's different. Yeah. You don't want to get but, knocked out and fucked. Nah, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, close quarters. I'm trying to save my life. <laughs> close quarters tend to tend to mend a lot of relationships that, when people don't talk, yeah. like when people avoid each other, right? They tend to uh allow. Make it. Uh, situations Racist to too. really, really fester and shit really go left. Right. But when people forced to be in constant communication with each other, they tend to mend those bridges. So right. that's why I try to, even when I have uh, it, problems with a person, if they want to talk, like, yeah. I talk to you though. But well, why you don't never talk to me? Mo- the mama bear said they were trying to talk. talk. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Nah, they don't want to talk. I, I tried to talk. No, the fuck nah, you did? It's his fault. Well, what I nah, did? Real, you know, nah, real, you did. real shit. Let me tell you something. Before this shit went, before it went left, what? I hit up Lisa in her inbox and was like, you know, let's talk and see what the problem is. I hit up in her inbox we too. On, just because we on different sides of the political spectrum, right. that don't mean we got to hate each other. Oh. She kept attacking me, so I'm going to attack back. Like, I, nah, I ain't no, like, I'm not just no punching bag. I ain't finna let nobody just beat up on me. But right. you can't do that. Huh? You can't attack because you black. Oh, I can attack. Yeah, if, if I'm attacking, I'm attacking back. But look though, that's why I, that's why every every dick pic I sent to every mama bear, I did it for us. <laughs> I did it for us, man. Hey, man. I did it for us, man. What the fuck y'all talking about? But yo, though, look, nigga, look, this nigga, this is a real this is black history month. This is a black history fact about Jabba Jow. Cause I've been knowing Jab since I was like eight, right? Right. She he fucked with me the way he fucked with me, nigga, cause I saved his leg. When he first got that leg, yeah. When Zeal had the first uh little water gun shootout thing, right. that Klein fat, right? That Klein fat, and they that. shot the bitch up. Right. Jab was getting out the way. The leg came off. I picked that bitch <laughs> up. Me and Darion was together. I ran with that bitch and tossed it on the back of the city truck. Yeah. That's what's up. I did that. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, how, how you doing, man? I, I heard you mention. Man, I ain't talked to man. It was just my nigga uh birthday. Um, damn, it's in January. I can't think of the date, but uh, he all right. He's staying. Wascom, Fort Worth, yeah. one of them. Yep. Next time you talk to him, say Shorty said, y'all still tired 1-1. One, one. All right. Yeah, because right, I, cause, yeah, cause I dusted his ass one time. We was freestyling Freestyle. against each other. Say, three. man, man, that nigga Ike was cold. Ike, 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 Ike was like one of the coldest niggas in Shreveport. Ike was cold. Like, dead ass. Ike was cold. And I met Ike, I met Ike when I moved over here. Uh, yeah. My partner, Courtney. Courtney um, Black? Nah, my partner, C-Note. He was oh, from, okay. from Benton. Um... But they was, they was, them boys from Ben was fucking around with that music heavy back mm-hmm. then. And um, Courtney used to come, used to come on the Cooper Road and get weed from us and shit, me and my partner now. So uh, he was always fucking with music. And, and my partner, my, my, my big homeboy Scrub, rest in peace, he was yeah, always, man, uh, he used to always just, just fuck with me. You know, anybody come around talking about music, man, that nigga, that be trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? I was the little homie. So me and Courtney got cool, you know what I'm saying? So when I moved over here, he had them bought some equipment and shit. When I moved to Queenborough, he had them bought some equipment and shit. So <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so he he came he came and fucked with me, it would take yeah. me to the studio and he knew Ike. Yeah. So he took me uh, he took me on Frederick to fuck with Ike. And shit, we had a freestyle session and Ike I when Ike started was starting to do his kick though shit. And he put me down with Ike and shit. Like I say, when Ike put out his first single, Swinging Elbows, yeah, that's that me. Yeah, used to go hard. That's me on the, that's me on the hook in the second verse. Yeah. 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 I never knew that. Yeah, that's me on the hook in the second verse. I and, never knew and that. And honestly and truly, man, me and Ike had a lot of, we had a lot of people biting on that record. We, only thing happened, shit, Ike went to jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Ike ended up getting like 10 years. Yeah. He didn't go to jail for no couple months. Yeah, I ain't gonna He went to jail for ten time. years. God damn. And that's when I started doing my solo shit. I mean, I ain't rapped against so him. so look, I know back in the day, like, you know what I'm saying, freestyling used to be real big. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So was you one of them ones that really freestyled out of a dome or did you like write shit and memorize it and then Man, it's always it it's a uh, like it's a quote that A Ball said and I never forget it because it, it relates to me. Um he said, freestyle, not that great, but if you give me a second, I could write down some shit that could 
probably get a gold record. Mm-hmm. I wasn't now one of them niggas that's gonna sit there and freestyle you to death. I don't watch Ike and Pop and them niggas freestyle for for yeah. all night. Mm-hmm. I ain't that nigga. I'm a, I'm a I might step in the little mix and you be like, oh shit, cook and go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got a little bit in him, but. I ain't the nigga that just constantly freestyle because I like the white. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He ain't no nigga he in the club just. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't me. This me. That's why I kind of, that's, that's nah, why that I'm one me. of the goats. See, nah, he don't believe I'm one of the goats. You not the baby, man. He oh, don't Jesus. see. See, he don't believe I'm one of the goats. You not the baby. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You not and, and, and this you why not I say, goat. man, this nigga, I'm, I'm a goat, nigga. I you just, ain't got no motion. You ain't ratchet. Nigga, no. I, nigga, I, I, let me talk, man. God damn. This why I say I'm one of the goats. God damn, this nigga be hating on me. This nigga be hating. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you I stood in the rain with the best of them. I'm talking about, like, a nigga can't beat me rapping, bro. Right. Like, freestyle, you heard me say that. Man, the baby just beat you rapping. Man, be good. quiet. <laughs> That's why I said, tell Ike, we one and one. Like, nigga, I was little. I was young, you heard me? Right. And and my my homeboys, like, my, my the niggas that was older, them niggas, they was like, nigga, you nice. You can't be scared, you hear me? Them, right. niggas, them niggas threw me in front of Ike. Right. I was so goddamn scared, that nigga. I was like... Say, man, that you nigga would... He, he, I, was, I was scared. Say, man, that nigga would like that, dog. But I went in, though. Like, I went in, you know what I'm saying? And he went back in, and I was like, oh. And see, that what he liked. He liked that competition. Yeah. He liked that competition. He got, oh, well, pause, man. He said he went back in. Well, he, already, he already know I ain't going to say pause. You know? I don't give a fuck about this shit. Hey, but yeah, he would like that, though. But he liked that competition, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He liked that competition. The second man. time, the second time, she, I, it was just one of them days. I was full of that cocaine. I had it. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. full of cocaine. Man, like that, like you that. You that, young, that yeah, I was young. I started smoking. I started smoking cocaine. Like that swinging elbow. That swinging elbow yeah, was man. a freestyle song. Yeah, yeah, man. We used to uh, uh, the dude that done the beat, Crown, and this other dude named Jangalang. They done the beat. Um, I talked to Crown a couple couple months ago. Uh, but these some cats I ain't seen in a long time, but they used to come through there because. Man, no bullshit. Like Ike was, Ike was well yeah, respected, he was like man. That. Like he would like that. That nigga and, would um, like that. And them, they done the beat. We had the beat. So me, Ike, his cousin Van, and Ten. Now, R.I.P. to both of them. They both did. Yeah. Uh, but at this time, like we would, we would sit there and, and 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 freestyle it. Came up with the hook, and we would just freestyle it for people, cause. At that time, when you when you went to the club, like Players Club and shit like that, they, if, they, if, they don't. If you they don't, they if you, if you fucked is. with if you fucked with that if you fucked with that circle like that, yeah, you go to Ike House shit, you in that bitch getting full of that weed and rapping. You know what I'm saying? Mojo used to be over there. Yeah, yeah Mojo was the in house producer. I've been knowing Mojo forever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Shout out to Mojo. I yeah. thought you were talking about that. No, no, no. Like, no, 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 no Mojo, but. You don't know Mojo? Mm, no, but, you just fuck with the music, didn't you? Why you don't fuck with Mojo, boy? Man, Mojo, 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 Mojo uh, 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 nigga, be vibed out, you hear? I listen. I a uh, 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 painter, Kentucky. <laughs> ain't never do a moment with this nigga. Ain't I'm never do a moment with Mojo. See, he gonna end up doing magic and all type of shit, shit for him yeah. to get him too Man, high. I made yeah. this nigga. Two years ago, I feel like I knew this nigga my, my whole life for a minute. Oh, you just met him two yeah, years ago? Yeah, I used yeah. to always. You wanna know why he feel like that? Because Mo Mojo Mojo is who started. Mojo is who started Wax. Yeah, see, I, I see a lot of Wax and ways come from Mojo. Mojo when like, he move when he making the beats and shit. Yeah, like, like, shit. like, like, like when, but like when Wax wasn't making beats with the click of a mouse when he was with Ron, he had him yeah. around Mojo and yeah. Stan. Yeah, Mojo and Stan and Blind Gary. Yeah, see, a lot of motherfuckers don't remember Blind Gary. You know what I'm saying? Blind Gary, he played. They had a band and shit. He was blind, and um, he stayed in Highland. We would go record in his attic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You blind us, motherfucker. Yeah, but you he. That's why I know when people sit there and say they think Stevie Wonder can see. Like we used to think Gary could see. Oh no, nah, Stevie Wonder like, could see. You know what I'm saying? Never like, seen them cause, with no cause, ugly cause, bitch. cause, you fuck around, you bring a now, 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 Gary blind. You gotta help him. You know what I'm saying? Like around his house, he knew pretty much. But you still sometimes have to help him. Yeah. But you fuck around, come to the studio, bring a chicken there. You know what I'm saying? And you you speak. He know your voices and shit. Might be like now. Nah, Whoa, what's up, Gary? Oh, what's up, Sack? You, you made it here today. Ooh, 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 man, what that is you got with you, boy? That's something nice. Yeah. He like, God damn, yeah. what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but but we know he blind. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so blind you Gary. Really, you really think Stephen wanted to blind? Think I, I look, 
I don't think all blind people are just totally blind. I think mm-hmm. they can see some shit. Because that nigga yeah, Stevie yeah, Wonder can fucking see you. They got some type of vision. Listen to his music. He always talking about, I see you this, I see like, you that. Like, he probably legally blind. Nah, this is his music. He be <laughs> telling them bitches he seen them. <laughs> yeah. He's dead yeah. in hell. Nah, man. Yeah, but when, we, um, but when we used to go, like, after that shit, we go to Ike House and, 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 and freestyle and shit. So that's how uh, Swinging Elbows came along, and everybody used to love it. Like, motherfucker be, man, say, say that other shit. And that week after... Couple de- sing that man, sing that other song y'all was singing last week. So we like, damn, we gotta go record it. Yeah. So it really wasn't supposed to be just me and Ike on it. It was supposed to be Ten and Van on it too. But when we booked the session with Dale Lynch, y'all know, I Dale, know, I Dale, know. Dale, Dale Lynch. When, we, when we booked the session with Dale Lynch, them niggas didn't come. Yeah. So shit, Ike was like shit, cause I already was saying the hook on the song. So Ike was like shit, Zach, man, we're gonna get the second verse too. So I had already had me about like eight bars wrote, so I went on and wrote the rest of that motherfucker. And that's how it just ended up being me and Ike on the song. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, Jab, Jab used to promote the hell out of that shit, man. Yeah. Um, he used to have us, he used to just call us, man. Like he had people in town, he'll just call us. On the realism just, 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 just have us come do it. You know he what I'm saying? Realism, flip, man. So. flip couple motherfuckers. Jab, Jab was, you know what I'm saying? Jab was always 100 solid. Like he, he got his is. ways like that, that your friends ain't my friend yeah, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He really mean that yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, when I was younger, when the nigga was young, nigga be like, man, Jab want some bullshit. Yeah, but then once you get older and you, you realize understand. how niggas is and your crew and shit, how they fuck mm-hmm. shit up for you. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, your friends ain't my friend, nigga. I'm cutting for you. All the mother niggas, yeah. they got got to sit to the side yeah, for a minute. Go, you know bro. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But but when you're younger, you don't realize that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why if you want to help them, like I'm helping yeah. you now. Yeah. You want to help your people? That's on you. Yeah. yeah. But that ain't uh, that ain't my that ain't my that ain't yeah. my job. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's so. why I put my life on the line for their leg that day. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I had to go back and leave. You just want to hold the league. So let me ask you, what's your opinion on the current state of like rap and hip hop? In in what perspective? All this shit. Like, 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 for us, like the 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 value of music that's been put out. Like, do you look at it like? Do you look at it like it's downgraded, or do you look at it like it's just it's just another time? Like, like it's cool. Like it's. It's for it's for who it's for. Okay, so in 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 my eyes, like the biggest the biggest thing that that I don't like about it and that I feel like we need to get back to in a sense is 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 the substance. Mm. Yeah. Um the culture the culture of the music is always gonna change, right? Uh, it's like even if you go back to and a lot of that shit was before my time, but you know, we always catch a catch your ear to it, like the Sugar Hill gang, how them niggas was rapping. All right. It was it was it was kinda like party and chanty, mm. not, you know, kinda it was kinda basic, A B C ish. Mm. Then you have niggas come along like Rakim and Big Daddy Kane, them, they got a little bit more skill and a little bit more lyrical. They ride the beat different, um, a lot more subject matter, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, if niggas was familiar with Rakim, he had a lot of Got a lot of lessons in his music, you know what I'm saying? With yep. no cussing, no none of that. Then, you know, you go, you know, you got NWA and Snoop and them, they come with the G. The music gonna always evolve into something else. But I just I just don't like how they shut the substance out because even even back then, you had, okay, if we had if we had NWA to listen to, we on some gangster shit riding full of that weed and shit, you know what I'm saying? Bitches and hoes and shit. We had Tribe Kyle Quest on the other side to give us some knowledge, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and to kind of, you know what I'm saying, smooth it out. It was a, it was more of a balance. Yeah. You ain't got that nowadays unless you got unless you tapping in the niggas like J Cole, Kendrick, or uh, the Young Cab, you know or uh, YB, YBN and Corday. Uh, a lot of a lot of this, this this music they putting out is not rap. They need to recategorize, you know, put it yeah, in put it on because yeah. a lot, of, a lot yeah. of it is like rap mixed with pop or rock music. It's not rap. They need to get a, a sub category. But you can't. But you can't say that though, because I'm gonna tell you. Lil Uzi see, is not real. But I'm gonna tell you it's something though. But see, Travis I'm gonna, Scott. That, but I'm gonna tell you something though. If it was, if it wasn't for that infusion, we wouldn't have just had rap on the on the high scale. Because Run DMC did it with Aerosmith. We walked that way. Back in the gap. If we didn't have, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have been seen on MTV. So you think Playboy called a rap? Nah, and sometimes. Sometimes I think them niggas can rap, but what they make but they make alternative this music. Screaming with a high pitched voice. See, see the, <laughs> is, the, the thing about it is the thing about it is did he making his voice like? Who, see the, who, see the, the, who the fuck first? Who the fuck is Playboy Cardi? He wore a little. That's all. Uh, you you know Iggy Azalea. 
<laughs> find a little chick from uh, Australia. That's nah. his baby mama, but he. I mean, fine. that's his baby dad. That's her baby daddy. But that hoe ain't fine. That hoe bought it. Yeah, I'm she bought that. She, I mean, play, she bought I'm it. So you play but, but um, the thing about like I think they can rap, but being that they under the under the under the the system. Mm-hmm. Under the umbrella of the, they got to put out this bullshit ass, you know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. shit that that a sell for them. Mm-hmm. They they put that shit out. They see what that what a sell for them. So they make them continue to conform to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas they not they not able to express they they real skills. You and know see, what I'm saying? See, that's another thing. Like when you talk about substance and things, I feel like I feel like these record labels, the the, the shot callers and stuff like. They don't necessarily care for they don't care substance for that substance to at be all. pushed they don't care for to, to our, our our community. So you know, a lot of these people they uh <laughs> they they be invested. Whoa whoa, be, whoa 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 Playboy Carter, that's yeah. your boy. He right here wearing see through thongs. Man, that <laughs> jet popped up last week. He got his ass out. Oh man, he bust yeah, wide open like that. Yeah. I mean, he with his face paint. He 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 he, he pointed the street bridge. Like man, that shit on his face. Yeah, he told up. He sprayed see, street. Like he Cisco. Say, he got a thong on. But like I say, see, they like shit like exactly. that. Exactly. You know That's they not like, real. They like pushing that type of shit. They don't matter though. Like, they, they, see, 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 what they see, want. What I, that's what they want because they want they want to influence us like the, the mind you know what I'm saying like when it come to media music it's mind uh, control yeah that's all it is so mind that's what control. they want us to do nah, that nigga just see what I'm saying control. see what I'm saying I think he can't I think he probably can but, rap but, that's but he don't he, 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 he do that other shit First, he do that other started, shit. He started but that, that's, but that's I, because that's the system. That's because he. That's because the system got. Can I get my exactly? Yeah, that's the system. He ought to cross over. Can I? Yeah, 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 just can stop I, saying his rap music. Yeah, can I get my exactly. input? His rock. Like this. Like this, this is what I think about a lot it's of it. Because last night I heard a song while I was in uh uh the pool hall. I heard a song with. I don't know if this nigga was a country singer. I don't know what he was. But then I heard dirt on it with him. Yeah. And the first thing I thought about was Nelly. When Nelly did what he did. All in my head. When Nelly did what he did with All in My Head, see what it is is hip hop music is so influential to the point where these artists, they start off saying they rappers. But once they figure it out, once they figure it out, they say, well, fuck it. I'm talented. Once they f- figure out, they well, tell them take you off the. So I got now. Nah, so no, just let, 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 let okay. So just because you make another, I'm sorry. Hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, me, what I'm saying is, the reason it, every last one of them of the new generation can't do that with Travis Scott and uh this Thong Wayne Cardi doing because they not they they not artists they not musicians they right. they just rappers they they not as gifted as them right. because once you realize and once you tap into it and you and you learn the art of music then you cross they they no longer rappers they are pop artists right like but, but they man, strictly pop but that's what I'm saying. hold on so, that's, that's so, pop right. music. so if pop. i'm if not i'm a rapper rap. right if right. i'm a rapper and i go make a country song why do they make me not a rapper no more? No, 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 no. They not making no rap music at all. At all. That's what I'm saying. They talking about. They talking about when they collaborated with other genres. With other genres. See, like, but then Dirk, that's that's um that's song that's Morgan Wallen. He one of the biggest country music country artists in the world. So that's who they was. Yeah. So say man, that song was so motherfucking beautiful. I grabbed a white good boy. Yeah. Yeah. But like, but like I say, I think that um I think. It lacks it lacks the substance and the balance that we need. You know what I'm saying? To mm-hmm. answer your question, um, a lot of the music is repetitive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, shit. Some of it, some of it I like. Some of it I, you know what I'm saying? I don't. But that's just you know, shit. That's just the nature of the situation. We not all made to like any everything. Mm-hmm. So if a nigga sit there and say he don't like your shit, that don't mean he hating. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It just, it just don't just appease don't like to his it. taste. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think we need to get back to the pretty Ricky era. We need everybody need to start fucking. We need to get back to the fucking. Oh, right. I'm, we got to get back to fucking, cause 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 this 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 dream. They ain't making R and B no more either. The That's R&B what. I'm nah, man. Really I'm telling you, man. I was so and I get it. Like, man, Usher, man. I was so championing Usher to give us a CD with yeah. some good. Slow songs he on. He did, didn't mm. no. Man, that, he, he came, got, he came got, to dance at the family he reunion. Got he got some good songs, mid-tempo. Yeah. They, they good songs, but man, like, say, man, we all dudes, right? 
Mm. We probably ain't gonna be listening to this shit with our homeboy in the car, but I mean with a nigga. But if we by ourselves, man, we might be in that bitch listening to Jodas and singing our ass off. Yeah, but that, that shit yeah. jamming, and we sitting there like, man, damn, man, oh. Uh, she must broke this nigga harder. He really in love. Like we, we, we got them emotions too. Yeah. We feel that shit too. But ain't nobody giving us no music like that to where you know what I'm saying. We be like, damn, mm. you know what I'm saying. But that's see, why I listen to H Town because they talking about go, go, fucking. Go, go. And that's the women I, is the, the men R and B artists on, on the women R and B artists giving. The nah, women done killed they, the game. The women been killing the game for the last two years. Now you know what? Now you know what? Now I ain't gonna let y'all say that because Chris Brown gonna always be crazy. Chris been driving me the last. His last album with me. Like that I'm fucking, I'm fucking off of it. I ain't got one love ballad on that. I'm fucking. He didn't have no good love ballads on that one neither. I, well, I ain't in love. I don't want to hear nothing about this. But I mean, but, but I'm not saying you want to be in love, but you want to, man, you want to hear that shit, no, man. I want to hear my fucking. Nah, you got to have some love. That's what that's what we Well, you want to hear Pretty Ricky and all. Yeah, I'm worried about Jodas. Yeah, yeah. That's what we mentioned in this community, though. Love, shit. Nigga, we need love. I want to hear my fucking problem. Nobody want love. Love the cure to it all, man. Yeah, not saying not you. saying you have to be in love, but the nature of love is. is you know is, what? You're right. Since you yeah. said that it's Valentine's Day, you got you got you got something special that you're doing for somebody Valentine's Day. You got your special Valentine. That's some ghetto hood shit. Yeah. yeah. That, hey, so I'm saying so like you going all that. You would, like, nah, I, ain't, I mean, you know, shit, shit be solidified. You ain't gotta go all out. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna say, dog. I guarantee, dude. Look. If you do this, it's going to save you a whole lot of money, but she going to love this shit. Go get you a big-ass piece of construction paper, <laughs> fold that motherfucking half, and have one of the cheer and draw the shit. Because, see, that's what's going to melt her heart. Yeah, see that's see that's see that's the thing. See that's that, that's what a lot of us got away from too. You 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 go buy a whole lot of material shit. Sometimes the effort that you put into making something like that yeah. means a whole lot more. Why and, do and, it? And, yeah, I ain't and, buying and, and you shit. got and you yeah. got and you got some things that hit on shit that you know she personally like. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's only women y'all age. What the fuck you the trying to say? Generation, they, they want they want you to buy them some. No, you ain't got. They, they, they get them cut yeah, but but you know why? But you know why that get is? Them, but they you, gonna cut your but, ass out. But you know why that is? The same thing what you just said. We ain't got no love music. Yeah, we yeah. ain't got nothing that's 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 touching those type of emotions. No, we ain't got none of that. They got the it's city, all girl. it's all materialistic. You they know what I'm saying? City, city, but that's girl. but that's Strange. from that's from the social media. That's from the IG and all that shit. We see that we see that they see that that type of shit. That's what they expecting. But they selling pussy anyway, so shit. You buying it. I, you, you feel me? I'm going to tell you something. Look, look, look. That what you finna spend them five shells on? Ooh wee. Yeah, baby, there we go. Hey, say, <laughs> hey, look, hey, it's Valentine. This shit should be on sale. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but, so, 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 so you still believe love exists? Yeah, it should. Why well, shouldn't it? Only fans? Because I love it. No, I, 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 I'm not. I'm... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Hey, man. We yeah. still get fucked up. Yeah. Hey. But look, now it should though. I mean it does. I mean, but you just gotta get in that space and 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 it it, it it should exist. Why shouldn't it? I mean it's the yin and the yang of life, man. You gotta have good and bad, you gotta have love and hate. Without without all of that, what what the fuck what the fuck we gonna be doing? Yeah, so why yeah. Jane Howell ain't in love? Man, my cousin got him a woman, man. You speaking on him? Yeah, see, that's what I, that's what I was saying though. Like, cause like, I like me personally. Me personally, like, I ain't got no problem with like ignorant ass shit. Like, like I really, I enjoy listening and looking at ignorant ass shit. Like, I like to hear bullshit. I like yeah. to hear. I like I like Chicago music. I like a lot of these street for rappers. I like to hear the drill. I like to hear all that. <coughs> but I also want a, a counterbalance, and like I think that's the key to life. Like we need that balance, and the fact that we don't get that is like no, when, when, when people blood, speak man. on it. When people speak on it, like they try to demonize you as like a hater, like you exactly. Hate it, and that ain't what's going on. Say, like say, I, I don't mean like, to come in y'all conversation. Somebody wrote this lad. This blunt lead fuck man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, like like I like this shit. That boy like them rapper blunts, man. He need that big fat motherfucker, man. Oh no, nah, oh no, nah, we don't smoke them leaves. Hell no, nah, that's a waste. Yeah. What the fuck we smoking all that weed for? But like back to what you was saying, like you have to realize every generation that the music changed, the generation before it, it it it, it get it gets more uh what what's the word I'm looking for? Cause you got to think about it. After like doing like. Run like LL Run did when New York had it. 
When right. New York had it at first, when it first came about, when when hip hop first branched off and became started becoming what it was. Right. Once California got it, the music changed. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then the South got it. Right. But you got to think about the generations. So you saying we fucked it up? No. What it is is it's the gen it's the generations like. Our, our parents, they parents didn't like the music that they listened to. Exactly. Our parents did not like the music they listened to. It wasn't bad, to. though, man. But no, what I'm saying, nigga, I, I like the hold music. Hold on, hold on. I swear to God, if you go put in a soldier, a hot boy album, or go put in a soldier slim yeah, album. Because baby did say I fuck her in the head. While listen, I'm, I'm saying, or go, or, 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 or go put in a, a, a no limit album. Go put one of them albums in. You heard me? The whole fucking yeah. album is about what? Robbing. Stealing, killing, and fucking hoes, but they, and selling dope. See, like I remember, I remember my mama, cause my mama, like I had an older brother, uh, bless his soul too. He died or whatever, but um, he died of natural causes and nothing street shit or whatever. But he, we was ten years apart, right? When I was coming up, like my <laughs> mama used to tell me, cause when I was nine, my brother was gone. Um, he was nineteen. He was out the house, so. Her way of raising me as how she raised him was totally different. And she would tell me that, like, my brother, he grew up, which he put me on the earlier rap when I was a kid. But he he grew up listening to Prince Duran Duran and all yeah. this old type of shit, yeah. right? Well, here I come. I'm in a hip-hop era. So... Man, I we didn't have no whole lot of radios and shit around the house. So and, and shit, really I gotta, I gotta, I gotta right? listen to if I want to listen to what I want to listen to. Well, she had, she told me that she had to find a way to adapt to some of the music, and some of the music she would like, and some of it she couldn't stand. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, we we got to we got to find a space to understand and find some in some of the music that. That that I these kids listening to, cause like I say, like my son them, he be sending me shit, you know what I'm saying, and some of it I like, and some of it I don't. But, you but I'm glad I got him to do that because that keeps me in touch with the mm -hmm. culture, with the youth culture. So I gotta find a balance and find a way to like some of it because that's just the that's just where they at right now. If I didn't, I'd be I'd be considered an old hater. You know, mm -hmm. I don't like none of it. Like, come on, we got to be yeah, some yeah, of it. Some it, of that it, shit it be with your communication. He put a, a barrier in the communication with it, you. With you, yeah. Because you, you don't even want to understand what they got going yeah. on. You're not even open minded yeah. enough. You know what I'm saying? Man, I fuck that boss man D Lo though. Man, that nigga that I tough. That. You, you want to know, know what I fuck with? Because I stand on straight business. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga that tough. Like I wasn't like I'm gonna tell you. I wasn't no big Gucci man fan. Yeah. My mama love Gucci man. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. Like yeah. she used to sit around there at the house, nigga. Shit, she couldn't go nowhere. She she sitting on scooter all day watching watching uh what that shit was 106 and Park and shit. Man, Gucci, come on, man. She love Gucci man, but I wasn't no big Gucci man fan. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know. That's just like I say. It's, you just gotta find the balance in it, man. You just gotta find what you like. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I be I be here by myself. I got I, I got a couple ski masks. I I be in the bit by myself. Who to say I be playing this song out by Youngin and Ratchet Black that you ain't no shooter? Yeah, mm -hmm. nigga, I be in the house with the mask and a rod, nigga, bounce around listening he, he to that shit. He for about, about, about fifty five percent of the views on that video. I'm, I'm <laughs> talking about this bitch, talking about this. I had a rod. They and need to cut him a check. He ain't bigger for both. They look like for real though, cause you just you just find this certain song by them young niggas and that shit had you, cause I ain't gonna lie, the little dude uh. Yeah, the little dude doo wop got one. Yeah, doo wop. That my little partner. But you heard that one out there, the Bob Marley sample? Man, that shit that hard. Ooh, I man. listened to that. That shit that hard. I said, man, this little nigga talking about killing everybody, that but shit this shit jam. Yeah. I swear to God, man, that man ain't got away with like, these words though. Doo wop is a mother. See, like all them little niggas, them my little partners, yeah. like so, like so D little man. That's like my nephew, like his yeah. daddy, one of my best friends. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know his whole family, like doo wop. Shit, his um, uh, I've been knowing him since he was a baby. Like his best friend is my my son, uncle. You know what I'm saying, yeah. daddy. You know what I'm saying. Like I've been knowing all them the kids. Um, so I got uh, a big nine, you. big nine, Dale. I call him Dale. But anyway, like all them little niggas. I've been knowing all them little niggas since they were baby. My son, my oldest son, Jarvis, them all his homeboys. But Jarvis yeah. don't. 
They've been partners, but he never just really was into that type of shit. He he basketball and and, yeah. and, and female and shit like that. But them all his partners though, you know. So mm-hmm. I watched all them niggas come up right there in Peach. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got a question. So do you think that like do you think if it would not be for the street politics with all them youngsters in the city, like like do you think that the 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 rap scene would be way bigger than what it is? It'd be way bigger than what because I'm gonna tell you how 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 uh. You see, a lot of motherfuckers don't be knowing this shit, but like by me being older and 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 been moving around so much and how I know these little niggas, okay. Um, take it like take it like the smackers, right? The my son, uncle that I was just telling you about. Yeah. That's their uncle. Yeah. I know their whole family. Well, now they beefing with Doo-Wop now. Yeah. Doo-Wop best friend is the smackers uncle's son. Yeah, they're like this. This is what I'm saying. You see what I'm like, saying? It, so it, it, a lot it, it, of motherfuckers don't be knowing this shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But, so as an older kid, I sit back and watch this shit, and I be like, man, if all these niggas could just get together on one accord mm-hmm. and move, like you ain't even got. Like I'm gonna tell you something. Like you don't like have like, to like, a them, like a lot of them, like a lot of them Atlanta straight. niggas. Yeah, like a lot outside of the YFN, and Lucha and, and, and Young Thug shit. Them niggas really was at odds. But a lot of them niggas aren't. Just jam tight like this, but they understand. The they business. understand getting the money. I watched that back in the gap with 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 Slim Thug and ESG. Yeah, when they got together, like when them niggas came down here, like we used to we used to be able to go fuck with ESG because my partner knew them. All right, well when they come to the club and shit, like nigga they on one side, Thug was on the other side. Like them niggas didn't kick it like that. Mm-hmm. They they crews didn't get along. But when it came time to get on that stage and get that they money, they, they got that yeah, money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of niggas in the business, they they have that they have that sense of getting the money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if these niggas could squash that shit and just put a lot of that shit to the side and move on one accord, man, that shit will be powerful for the city. Because a lot of them little niggas be jamming for what they making now. Yeah. And they got a lot of influence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if they could make that shit click and just put something together for the city and push yeah. that shit forward, man, them little niggas could be real powerful, dog. But see, me, that's why That's why as I grow older, I grow, I grow like a real, like, hatred for the streets. Like, because it's like... It's detrimental to the youth. Because it's like, I, I done seen, like, firsthand, like... Like, how close motherfuckers be in shit, like... Just the streets like rip shit apart, like you know what I'm saying. They have family members against each other. It had like in 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 this shit that if it wasn't for like certain street situations that shit can be like like mended, like even what the situations be too small, small. for the yeah. shit to go so far, right? Like and that's why I'm saying like the shit like like the fact that we. We keep people with blood and like how you were saying how them people like is dead close. Like the fact that some so small, like especially with they situation, I ain't gonna just too yeah, deep, too yeah, deep into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that, that, but that shit business. minute. That shit ain't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that type of shit shouldn't go on. But once like, the shooting and shit going and you, and yeah, you start losing start, bodies and shit, yeah. that, that add a whole different dynamic yeah, it to it. Do. Man, I sat right there on the on the Cooper Road, man. I watched, I watched, nigga, my homeboys. Like I say, my son, them his partners, but he don't be involved in that shit like that. So I don't really have a dog in the fight, basically. But I sit back and watch my homeboys. That I grew up with, like nigga, we made we 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 got family. I just just being a unit coming up together, all of us like brothers. Like I watched some of them niggas get divided for the shit that they kids, kids did yeah. with in hood beef. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like two of my closest friends, they talking now, but at one point they wasn't talking, and I can't even say. Because I don't have a dynamic. Because mm. I, I, like I say, I ain't got a dog in the fight. I can't even say that just off them talking now is just solidified. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I know we cool because we still allowed kick it, but who's to say that shit? That shit in the streets pop up again and shit. These niggas ain't got, they can't, but, but we grew up together from the dirt. You know mm. what I'm saying? And we look at each other like brothers, but they kids got out here with this shit. Yeah. No. No understanding the morals and principles and just moving off of my new 
shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? My new beefs, my old ass shit that you really probably could have had a conversation about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Holes in the mix, whatever it may be, but then you start shooting and, and hitting niggas with bullets and bodies start falling. This to the whole it's, it's a whole different mm-hmm. thing. It's a whole different thing. But see, my thing, like, like what 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 I think with, with this situation, that's why I say our generation, we to blame for that for the simple fact of as technology grew, right. we stopped talking to our children. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, so our kids don't know how to have a disagreement and go talk to that person about it. The only thing they know is what they hear in the music and what they see on the TV. Because we had, we got, and we, and I, I admit, we some of us still like this. You know what I'm saying? As soon as our child got a problem, we don't know because we don't talk to the motherfucker because the child got a what in their hand, a phone or what. Or a tablet. Or a gun. And I can and I can I can kind of agree with that because it it, it kind of seems that way because it is like they don't give a damn to well they gonna go do it anyway because they feel a certain way instead of sitting man, man that motherfucker man that nigga daddy his daddy know my daddy his daddy know my mama mm-hmm. like they be kicking it drinking smoking hanging yeah. together mm-hmm. nigga don't even think about that aspect of it to well like I ain't fucking with that nigga for now. And let the shit die down, and then maybe you know a couple months down the later, y'all all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just react off of them emotions at that moment and cause a whole cluster fuck. Cause in my and, project, we used to tear each other ass raggedy. We used to hit each other in the head with sticks and all type of shit. And then the next day, we don't went outside the project and don't whooped on some niggas up the street. Like, like I, I, I don't like I, I, I don't know where they lost that shit at. Like, this is my thing. How can they sit around a group of motherfuckers who say that they don't trust the motherfuckers that's next to them? Because you have to listen to the music, too. Right. And understand the music. Like, my, my thing with the younger generation, y'all rap more about not trusting the nigga next to you because he'll get you out of there. Why you got them type of niggas around you? Like, nigga, I grew up, I, I grew up with some killers. You hear me? Like, for real. I don't trust my life with nobody but them. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know who they like. Free my uncle twin. I know what, but I don't trust nobody with my life but my uncle. You feel me? Right. Like, like I I, I think that the, they, they don't trust shit. They don't yeah. trust no fucking body. Well, and, I, and it's crazy, man. I'm going to say like. But I don't trust Pac-Man as far as I can throw him. Because he'll have you in some shit you can't get out of with them white folks. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, shit, that's on them. But look, I, I'm going to say it like this, like, from from my, my point of view, like, just, it, I, I feel like it's two different aspects to it. For one, the first aspect is what we was taught, like, like I, from what I was taught, I was taught bullshit, though. Like, niggas we taught a nigga, was. yeah, niggas taught a nigga, like, nigga, yeah. play with you, bust their head, right. you know? yeah, you play, you lay out, that type of shit, right. like, nigga. We was taught that they was in, they instilled that in us as if that's the way to handle situation. That's the way you handle disagreements. When you get in disagreement, you may show that nigga no not to play with you like that again. Right. The other aspect I would say for us, like when you was talking about like trusting niggas, though, like, like I, I mean, I, I can only speak from my lived experience. Like I'm from the Kings, like. I I ain't seen niggas like snake each other out, like you know what I'm saying, like so, yeah, like yeah, nigga, nigga might and nigga might will, like nigga might will defend that nigga life, even after he done did some grimy ass shit to yeah. him, like, but nigga still did that grimy ass yeah. shit though, yeah. so like. Nah, nigga, I ain't gonna trust the next man growing up seeing shit like shit. Like, nah, nah, nigga, nigga looking at everybody funny. But it's the, like, it's like, like I was saying back again, it's the streets though. Like, yeah, yeah. nigga, yeah, nah, you can't trust nobody in the streets because you never know what the next dynamic gonna come up. Like, like when uh, Bam Bam was telling us about uh, what's her name trying to pay uh. The nigga best friend to kill him. Kill him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he said, cuz ain't do it, but back in the hood, a nigga did it to his daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they was a tight neck 
Family yeah. died now. I mean, you know it, what I mean, so, it got it pros. Yeah, so, it, it, so, it's so, so it's always niggas you gotta watch because you yeah. never know what they own at the time. We full of, well, it used to be, we used to be full of all type of drugs and right. different shit. You never know how niggas feeling now. Yeah, right. So, and like I, I tell yeah. motherfuckers the same way, um, like what you were saying, and, and I know shit, I'm a little older than y'all. So, I always when I when I when I look back at it once I start um moving a little different thinking a little different and um you know kind of kind of getting into my righteousness about mm-hmm. shit uh I realize shit man my generation is definitely the failed generation yeah you know what I'm saying because my older homeboys they told a nigga you know what I'm saying like nigga we got initiated and all this type of shit yeah. You got beat into the gang and all this type of shit. Nigga, give you a pistol to hold you, hold you down, hold yourself down. We can go get throwaways from any fucking well. Once, a, once a nigga get into it with a nigga from Crow Town, if you got into it with a nigga in the hood, y'all gonna fight. Y'all might not fuck around for a couple months mm. or whatnot, but y'all gonna fight. But I say that because niggas, niggas put dope in our hands. You know what I'm saying? All this hell type of shit. We was that failed generation that that fell back on y'all. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's been falling back, but the the thing about it is is motherfuckers gotta motherfuckers gotta wake up and just 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 start preaching that shit and talking that shit. Like I understand your point of man, that fucking streets that ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like that ain't shit. shit. That ain't no love in the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. All of us done seen it. You know what I'm saying? Shit. If if it didn't happen to you directly, it happened. It happened to you directly in an indirect way because somebody close to you got affected by this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that that's what got us fucked up. And the thing about it with these with these youngsters, um, like I say, they take they take a situation so far without even trying to have a conversation. They don't have a they don't have the type of more reasoning. They don't understand mm-hmm. that part of it to sit down with. Even if a nigga got them together, say, man, you need to talk to this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a good moderator that's in the middle, neutral, neutral guy. Say, man, you need to talk to this little nigga. I ain't fucking, you know what I'm saying? Nigga I don't even want to try to try to do it. Mm-hmm. They ain't got to understand it for that. Do you know you, what I'm saying? Do you think, like, because cause I done heard older niggas tell their little homeboys, like, like, tell them, man, I ain't finna tell you shit. You ain't finna kill me. Right. Do, do, do you think that... This generation put a fear in, in 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 that older generation to the point where they just say fuck it, I ain't fucking with them. Some of some of them don't, some of them don't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga like me, like shit, I'm gonna tell a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like especially if I'm if I'm close now, a nigga that I really just don't know, I might. You know what I'm saying? Just say like Pac Man, cuz I might not know his little cuz. But being that I'm sitting here with Pac Man and I like know that's his little cousin. Man, damn, man, I see him fucking up. What well, damn, say, man, man, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's just on the strength of my love for Pac Man. Mm-hmm. But if the nigga feel like he don't want to listen to me and he might know I know Pac Man, nigga, man, you, ain't got, you can't tell me shit. I'm gonna go on back out of it. You know, but I'm gonna tell him. That's all I can do is tell him. Cause now once he get defensive with, with me, I don't know where he might take that. You know what I'm saying? But a I lot, of, but a lot, of, but a lot of them niggas will back out. You I'm know what I'm bag, saying? I'm backing out because the, my thing is, my thing is, is Okay, if you if you see it, if you see it and you feel like you good enough to interact, like I ain't just finna interact with no niggas I just don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a I'ma move away from that because they don't know me from that whole shit can turn on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So but if if you see it happening with somebody that you feel like you might can, man, just say something. Once you say something, you did your part. Mm-hmm. Now how you react after that? That's on him. But just to get it off your chest and be like, man, I tried to tell that little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah, sometimes, so sometimes once you me. put forth that effort to say something, motherfucker might hear it and change his mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the only thing you're trying to do now. You can't force it up on him. You know what I'm saying? Once I say, once you see he get defensive with you, yeah. man, shit, crawfish on out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all you can do is try to help the little nigga. Well, I'm that nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm that nigga that's going to sit back and watch and lie and tell the parents, I try to tell <laughs> So y'all, I want y'all to pin on something, man. What's up? What's up? I got this little video here, man. It ain't no perverted nah, shit, is it? Nah, man. Nah, nah. This some gangster shit, man. Oh, it's gangster shit. Oh, so gangster, that gangster shit coming back? Yeah, yeah. I hope well, 
I, I found it on Pac-Man page. <laughs> Come on now. There's some shit happening at the school. Oh, uh, yeah. What school? I don't know, nigga. What they did? Right, gonna see. This little girl caught off. Okay, nigga. The fuck wrong with you, like, bitch? The fuck is really wrong with your dumb ass, ho? Like, bitch, I was really drunk with you, Jamil. I really fucking did, bro. <laughs> But your dumb ass wanna go cheat, right? Now I can tell y'all broke if I stuff you in your fucking face. Fuck your dumb ass. Oh my God, like, really? Really? Bro, really? Uh, really? Really? But your dumb ass be asking me for money, right? Right? I ask you for money. Ooh. 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. He, he said the wrong thing. What he said? That little girl been giving him her I money. Second. That little girl been giving him her money. That nigga, that nigga said, you ain't give me no money, and then she play it again. He, but you ain't pay attention to that shit. All right, I'm going to pull up over there and I'll say, let you know. Man, nigga, get the, get the, oh, he I'm whooping. Man, whooping the nigga ass. Man, little young girl. But y'all right. y'all better stop this. See, that's why, that's why I don't lie to him. I like let them know. Man, what happened, man? I had a call. Oh, we, we, we just fucking. I don't lie to them. These women crazy. Now, th that's why I'm glad. Okay, yeah. The fuck wrong with you, like, bitch? The fuck is really wrong with your dumb right. ass, ho? Like, bitch, I was really drunk with you, Jamil. Right, I really bro. fucking did, bro. <laughs> but your dumb ass want to go cheat, right? Now, I can tell y'all if I stuff you in your fucking face. Fuck your dumb ass. Yeah, pussy. Man, how old she is? She look like she an eighth grade or some shit. But y'all dumb ass be asking me for money, right? Right? I'll ask you for money. Let me go. 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 You see how she turned up when he said, when we uh when when she said, you see how you be asking me for money? And that nigga denied that shit? Man, that little young girl went crazy. Man, how y'all feel about that? Oh. When I first seen it, like I said, like like I wanted to, I wanted to be like outraged and what shit. What school it is? I don't know. I wanted to be outraged, but then I just I had to think like back when I was in school, like that same shit, shit was going, going on. on. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because in the video you see a little girl. It's a little girl and a little boy laughing all type of shit. <laughs> yeah, but, I didn't notice that. Yeah, look, you'll see it's on the right side. It's a little girl sitting in the little boy laughing oh, everything. Right. But the only thing that was going on, like obviously, like the teacher probably wasn't in the room or some yeah. shit. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? You see, the only reason why we get yeah, shit like that now is because of them cameras. That shit, shit like that been going on. Like, yeah. shit, like we had that shit going on when we was in school, but we didn't have Look, cameras so to yeah, expose damn. that shit. <laughs> yep, damn sure is. Damn, man. Say, look, I ain't gonna lie, though. Shit, when I was like... It'll break my heart if that, <laughs> I, that's my daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, look, 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 I ain't gonna even lie. If it, if it was my daughter, I wouldn't even be mad at the little nigga, though. You hear me? And then, look, you see how G, the little girl handled she ain't even try to fight the little girl. <laughs> nah, she nah, really got on that nigga nah, ass. Huh. Her. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, that was oh, your yeah. daughter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right yeah but now, see, she, right. did the, she did the right thing, though. Now, whoever... Uh, whoever she around, cause she didn't approach the girl. It's all yeah. about the dude. You know what I'm saying? He the one cheating, so she approached yeah. the right person. Yeah. She ain't kick off no dust with the female. Unless, unless That's why I say both of them, mean. far as the both of the females, really all three of them handled it pretty, pretty well. Like yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the, the one girl, the one little girl, she ain't fucking getting their business, cause that's her. The other good right. boyfriend, the the girl, the little girlfriend, she approached the man. The man, he said that he was dead wrong. He took the <laughs> ass with it. Right, he took the ass with it. Everybody yeah. really handled it. Yeah. Man, that little Kinda girl. Correctly, say, hey, say, look, who who her mama is? I I'm, I want to meet her mama. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's up with you, mom. You think her mom be whooping her dad ass like that? I don't give a fuck. She don't she uh, gonna whoop mine because if I like, get her money, I'm gonna do right. But like, <laughs> you hear me? What the fuck you talking about? Like some people gonna see that and be totally outraged and yeah. disgusted and you know. No, nah, cause look, at yeah. least at, at least it's a little boy and a little girl. But see the thing about it, the thing about it, like like Robert say, man. They gonna be outraged because nowadays we in that digital age. They put that shit on there. They gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna criticize them for cussing. They gonna yeah. criticize them for fighting. 
You know what I'm saying? Why is they even who worry about who cheating with who? They too young to even be knowing it. Like they gonna criticize for everything, but we had the same shit going on when we were young. Only thing about it is you get these cameras, you post that shit, and everybody got an opinion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And see, that and that's what that's another that's what I hate about today's society. Like. Man, put them fucking cameras down, dog. You got to put the cameras down. Like, because I'm going to tell you, like, if if the cameras come on and, and, and it get public, I'm going to tell my opinion about it, right? Right. <laughs> I am. And people don't get, that's what a lot of people stay mad at me for. I lose friendships and everything behind this. Like, because I'm going to tell my opinion about about. But it's public though. You but but I see. I you love I, I love right. cameras because if it wasn't for cameras, only fans wouldn't be what it is. Yeah. Right. So you it can't really say, like them cameras. That's why you like the cameras. <laughs> Remember what he yeah. said the last episode. But we come from an era no, like 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 I come no. from an era where nigga well, cameras, man, you the folks. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like like yeah, a lot yeah. of that shit, you ain't. Man, motherfucker pull out a camera when certain shit going on. Like, nigga, you the fuck. All the time we pulled out cameras when it was time to take a picture of a nigga. Mm-hmm. Or a nigga was at a family reunion or event in the park and a nigga was filming that shit. Other than that, normal day shit. Man, nigga wasn't pulling out no nigga. Be like, nigga, who you here, the police? Because nigga like, oh, boy, that just disciplined his, his stepson because he would not be in jail right now if they ain't had that camera out. Right. All you had to do was not have. The oh, that, he went to jail. Yeah, he went to jail for that. For what? Wow. what After he told his story to Zill, he was on parole. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So they violated. Him. And That's then the he said, shit. then he said he the one. He he said he wasn't the one that busted. No. Yeah, he won. He won the one. His mama Damn. did that, and she ain't to be honest. She really ain't just hit. Say so she hit the man. She hit his hand. He hit his own head. nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, his shit that ain't just never started what I saw happening. Yeah, it wasn't really nothing that serious, but when you had a camera out, shit, man, that's my, what happened. Man, well, my, my I, mama hit me in my motherfucking face and, and yeah, bust my nose. Man, I tell you, I'm telling people what, what a couple council members told me, because they say, look, we trying to turn Shreveport into a hub for entertainment, right? right. Yeah. They like, but the problem is, like, especially like places like Time Out and shit, where motherfuckers go there and shit kick off motherfuckers right. fight right. they record it so, and then it hit the internet as soon as it hit the internet white people like people in the cattle mamba and shit like that yeah they sending them videos to them like look at this it's, what y'all gonna do about it yeah. and they like shit y'all ain't know y'all ain't home sleep why is you even worried about it right. but it, it it put so much it pressure. It create that on violent. Them. It create that violent yeah. and unsafe narrative. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. And it, and that's why a lot of black entertainment, like clubs and shit like that, that's why it's getting pushed out. It's why, especially from downtown, because that's where most of the investment finna go with. Yeah. Uh, Fifty Cent coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And they like shit. The more people fight and record in black establishment, it hurt our cause. So they saying less niggas the better. Yeah, no, the less cameras. Less cameras because because see the thing about it is if you're, not, you're not you're not you're not going to be able to stop the violence and the crime just like that. Nah, you ain't. The shit gonna happen. It it, it it might decrease, but it's gonna happen because right. it's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And fighting in clubs and shit like. We, we, I get, we I get what Rob was saying, shit. man. Why is you recording that shit? The and then, then you send it out. But, but do we have a backlash from the white I'm folks? I'm saying you don't just really see white people recording these. Exactly, fighting. man. We the nah. only ones doing that shit, man. Nah. You know what I'm saying? We the only ones doing that shit. They That's, but, see, but see, we don't realize where we be hurting our own self. Right. Because, because it's so much for the clout, for the yeah. views, for the likes, the exposure. We don't realize where we be hurting our own motherfucking self. Mm-hmm. When we the key. You know what I'm saying? Like we the key to it all. You know what I'm saying? So we do that shit and 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 we put our foot in our own ass and then wonder why shit ain't prospering for us. And, 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 and you wonder why I hang around white people. I don't like niggas. I got style. I got class. I'm culture. I'm sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, me. But what Caucasian you hang around? Spencer. He ain't Caucasian. Free Spencer. He Russian, ain't he? Like, 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 like my homeboy Spencer. Man, see, I went to school with white folk. Yeah. So, so I, did I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go to Green Oaks. I ended up at Northwood. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Right. My mama sent me to Northwood. There were both some hoes at right. Northwood, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, boy, I know. Boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I was a hood nigga though. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't cooperate with none of North. I just went to school there. 
graduated on time and everything. So I went to school with white folks, and I started going to school with white folks in middle school. I went to Dunn and Bickham. My mama sent me there first, and I ended up at Northwood from Bickham because you they right down the street yeah. from each other. You got to go there unless you did an M&M transfer. My mama wasn't finna transfer me to Green Oaks cause, cause a lot of my homeboys, she would see them niggas skipping school while I'd be at school. So she made my ass stay at Northwood. Yeah. But I say that to say, all the motherfuckers ain't bad, but all of them ain't good. But one thing they will do is stick the fucking yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, man, it I don't have a vendetta against them. I I, I can I can get along with them. I can sense the energy in a in a fucked up white person too. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I can coexist in that space. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you say with the mama bells. Okay, well, damn, I'm trying to talk to y'all. Y'all don't want to talk. They got that defensive and, and, and pushback type of attitude. Well, nigga, really, well, let's see what we can find some resolve. But mm. they look at him as a threat because he'll clap back at their motherfucking ass. They don't know how to how to handle that. And, 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 the norm, and, and, and normalcy, like a racist white person is going to act like that against a black person. Like they're not going to want to hear what you got to say because... They're racist. They don't want what they believe is what they believe. You black and you got this, that. They don't want to find no resolve. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I like got them up off me. I offered them the, 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 the BBD, the big black dick, and I got them up off me. They don't fuck me no more. Yeah, you gonna keep on. Yeah, yeah you gonna keep on. We gonna be reading about you, boy. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, they don't bother me no more. I don't bother them. Be you know reading about you. I don't, yeah, you know what I mean, nah, no. Nah. Don't be like ugly man, shit, ugly man in the can. Yeah, I ain't tripping. <laughs> I ain't tripping, but but nah, no. But nah, like nah, nah. I ain't got no problem with them white folks. I fuck with them white folks. I went to I went to school with them white folks at Linwood. You know what I'm saying? And they had some fine white girls. Well, you that old. Like, for real. Like, people don't know, like, I had to go to school with them. You know what I'm saying? And they was nice to me. Did you get put out for? Yeah, I was, yeah I've been fucking white girls. Mama bad. Man, I was in a racial fight uh, when I was in the eighth grade. Motherfucking white boys, football players and all this whole shit. They they fucked around and, and was we was at uh, lunch or something. Well, we, recess, whatever, break lunch, whatever you call it, in middle school or... Uh, and motherfuckers was was throwing rocks. So shit, motherfuckers was throwing rocks in our section, you know, where we chilling there and shit. So shit, nigga, throwing rocks back at they motherfucking ass. Yeah. Next thing you know, shit, a big, big old ass racial fight kicked off. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, I done, I done been exposed to all of those type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit, that shit be easy to maneuver around if you got a... If you got a sound mind and, and, and stand on what you stand for, that's why I say mm. I don't like I don't like the conflict about it because if we can't find no type of resolve, if we got different issues, like we can coexist with different issues. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah. can we can coexist because we not all meant to believe and agree on the same thing. Right, but right. if you got a problem with me because I believe a certain thing, then we you got that's a self problem yeah. because mm -hmm. you can't be mad at me because I believe this over here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like. We can find a means to agree, or we can find a means to disagree and, and let that be that. You know, I know, I know. One to one all my sex workers, him. did you hear what he said? All sex workers, you can yeah. find means to agree and disagree. That way, y'all ain't got to be beefing on the internet like that, baby. There's enough yeah. sex and money for you. Be beefing? Did, uh, it, sex uh, worker beefing up? It, man, it's, it's going down, man, right, within the sex worker community, man. I mean, they, they on the internet going dumb, man. But they beefing, though. Dick and pussy. <laughs> yeah, Dick and pussy yeah. and money. That's supposed to be what y'all in it for. That's, that, it, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like you, we in it. We we that's, we we that's what we in it for. You know what I mean? Man, y'all beefing. Man, before we get out of here, I gotta ask y'all a question. What? Boosie said it off. A juvenile said it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, they took my shit and went viral with that shit, yeah, I man. Know, man. The damn news station in uh New Orleans took that shit. Then I saw that shit on um on some on Instagram. They was tagging me on that shit. They took that shit and went viral. They took my other one too when I said um Keisha Cole Love or Music Soul Child Love. Mm -hmm. They took that one too. So which, 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 like which ones you prefer over? I prefer, I prefer, when you get to set it off, I prefer Juve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just something about that kick ass when yeah. that motherfucker come on. <laughs> don't, don't, shit, don't, don't, that bitch say, man. I walk with a limp because my nuts heavy. Yeah. I don't know. Like it from the back, so hold your butt steady. I'm yeah. fucking with Boosie. Boosie, Boosie go hard. Yeah. I ain't saying he don't. That Boosie set it off. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. 
when they listen, when you see them play that motherfucker in the arena, it got like eighty thousand white people in it, and they play that booster set it off, and when the cameras get close up on the white people and they sang in this bitch work, ain't ain't not a damn black person in this fucking arena. It's eighty thousand white people. And they play boost and set it off in every crowd. That's what I mean, turned you off. You, you like you like to see the white people like <laughs> give a damn what they ass do. But I'm saying though, but I'm, but, but 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 the, the like the like the reason I I made that point because you got to think about it. This eighty thousand white folks ain't not a black person in there. So what 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 type of events you think that is? There's not no rap hip hop event, no shit like that. That's 80,000 white people. Nigga, that's well, Celine why, Dion. Why does it matter what the white people like? What I'm saying is, now you play the Juve set it off with them 80... Well, now nah, you could be in New Orleans, 80,000 white people. It's going to be the yeah. same thing. Yeah. yeah, I'm more interested in what the black people like me. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. I'm more interested in what vibe, and I ain't got nothing against the white people, but like it don't, it don't, it don't melt my heart to see them vibe into our culture when they use our culture. I got one us. question since you want to be uh, uh, prejudiced. Would you I'm fuck, not being prejudiced? I'm just, all right, would you I'm, fuck I'm Angelina saying, Jolie? Yeah, I'll fuck you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially she, she got that check. You Nigga, she, why that? wouldn't he? Nah, so, I mean, you know, if, if but, she was attracted but, to but him, why I'm wouldn't he? Like, pregnant, like you know? like what what but what it boiled down to is this here, like, I right, don't get me wrong, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, they will enjoy our culture. White people will enjoy our culture, but when it boiled down to it, they still they gotta like choose a side. They're going to yeah, they they choose their side. They're going to choose their side. And right. rightfully so, but they're going to choose their side. They're supposed so to. So I'm going to choose my side. Right, right. Well, well I don't and have no they, side. And they don't, they don't, it don't melt my heart when I see them engaging in, in, in none of the shit we do because they still go right behind. Not all of them. There's some good white people. Because Spencer's a, 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 a good, good white still people. Go, go right behind in fucking... Be on the same Look. shit of trying to set black people up and that type of shit. So you know, I, that you don't know do good, nothing for you me. You know a good Caucasian man, huh? Donald J. Donald, Trump. Donald J. Trump. That's that's a, fine, that, that's a that's a that's a great. That's, that's a the great, next president. He gonna yeah. be president. He gonna be yeah. next president. For Let sure. me tell you something. My great 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 grandmother was her dad. One of them was white. Was a white man. Uh, and if it weren't for that white man, my family wouldn't be here right now. If it weren't for a lot of white men raping and beating uh, <laughs> women a lot of slavery, yeah, <laughs> if a lot of us wouldn't be here. That shit don't make sense. You see that boy right now? If it wasn't for a white man somewhere, that boy wouldn't be here. Then you see that boy. That boy look like he mixed with French or something, but that's not no ordinary nigga. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> so. He can get sunburned. It's possible. You see what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so he in the Drake category. Yeah. He over there in the no, Drake category. No, he's past the Drake category. But I ain't got nothing against white people. Like he was saying, that nigga school. look Jewish. Cause every, 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 every aspect. Well, that shit funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but every aspect of school, shit, elementary, middle, and high, I went to two different schools. I went to a school that had white people, and I went to a school that had all black people, and every, every uh different level, right? So. I know how to exist with white people and shit like that. And I'm not, I ain't got nothing against all white people. But my problem is, like, behind our back, they be doing some fucked up ass see, shit. But you, you know I what's know crazy what is when... You know what's crazy? I do fucked up shit behind white folk back. <laughs> you know what's crazy is when we, when, we, when, we stand on, when, we, when we stand on the cause yeah. for us... They automatically put us in the category of not liking white people mm-hmm. or prejudice. When we when we when we stand on the calls for us and disregard everything, like some just no just just like the bullshit that they be doing. When we stand on that and then we call them out on their bullshit, they automatically feel like oh he don't like white people yeah, or he's racist. Call us racist. You know what, what I'm saying? saying is, but what if you don't like white people? What the fuck? Who cares? Like listen. <laughs> I don't like white people. Am I prejudiced? No. I just don't like white people. Do I love they women? Man, I had a man, yes, I love they women. Love Look, I had a homeboy. I got I had a, I had a homeboy <laughs> like that though. Yeah. Uh, man, that nigga did. He did not like white people, and I'm hustling. So I'm on some. I'm the, what I was using him for was I was middleman in that shit. Yeah. So every time I would bring, I had some white customers that was they fucked with me, mm-hmm. and I could get them what they wanted. Ooh. Man, my nigga didn't my nigga didn't want me to bring them white people around. Like, yeah, yeah. nigga, I fucked around, brought a white boy around one day. He, he met me at the store to get 
Who that white boy is in the car with you? I say, man, that nigga, that's what's wrong with you. I, know nigga uh-huh. like I can't that. give you nothing. I'm like, damn, nigga. <laughs> fuck, nigga, this me. This ain't the white boy. Man, you got to get him out the car, man. Shit, go drop him off and come by the house. <laughs> like, nigga, he did not want to fuck with that white. He hated white people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I'm like, man, he's straight. That my boy. Nigga, that's who, that's who's spending the money. Yeah. Look, look, I ain't going to lie. Like, I like white people and shit. But look, look. When I see a white person, like... I'm not going to lie, my radar do go up. Like, I'll be like, man, that's the police. He said he he don't fuck with with white people because when it come down to it, they going to tell. And they feel like that's 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 what they just hit, you ain't know. That's another thing. Like, all right, look, one time I was driving, I was driving old Poland Bridge, right? Uh, what time? What time of night was you going? Nah, over this was during the day. This was during the day. This was during the day. I don't need. Yeah, I don't fuck around with them punks now. Nah. <laughs> but yeah. So so the the knocks high behind me. I seen them speeding and shit. They going around cars. Shit. I'm like, damn, they finna get somebody. You know what I'm saying? Shit, them bitches come right behind me and pull me over. Stupid. So, so they pull me over. I'm like, damn. Now, I'm I'm knowing I'm straight, though, so I ain't too much tripping. But just so happened, because uh, he was like this north with uh, SPD or some shit like that. The nigga ain't even have on no police uniform. So uh, the nigga the nigga come, and they searched my truck and shit, and just so happened, I ain't even know it, but I fucking had like two grams in like a little... Right. A little, <laughs> little mason jar. Yeah, right. little mason jar thing. So, boom, they get this. They come to me straight up. They like, uh, they like, well, look, I'm on the phone with the head North Cottage dude. They like, shit, all you got to do, man, just tell us a name, an address, anything <laughs> like that. Yeah. They were like, now nah, this can go away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I was like, this is doing COVID and shit, too. <laughs> so, I was like, I was like, man, I'd be less of a man if I tell you some shit like this. <laughs> I say, I say, you this, you caught me with this. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you caught me with this. So, cuz, like, uh, he like, all right, hold on. Boom, boom, boom. So, the nigga asked me again. I'm like, I ain't, I don't, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just blowing him out. The nigga, long story short, what I said that to say this, I said that to say, like, a lot of people put in them situations, they get so scared, they'll do that. They'll, they'll get that name of their yeah, address. Yeah. Now, now watch this, though. At the end of the day, even though I ain't give them nothing, right. nigga wrote me a citation, and I still got to go on by my business. He told me to call down and check, you know what I'm saying? And she they'll let me know my court date. Right. That shit, I called down like two, three weeks later because that shit wasn't even meant them, them people. I ain't even worried about this shit. I got a question. Them two grams, what was they grams of? Shit, we. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought you was really going to say. I thought you was going to say cocaine. No, sir. Nah, I ain't never. Even when I was doing it, like, Nigga, I nigga, I was never doing more than I don't know one twenty out of the bag. Like I uh, was never just no heavy. Oh, you oh you oh. Like, well, when I be snort, I mean when I used to do cocaine. <laughs> but we, we you had you had to come with a full bit, baby. We ain't doing all. You might but go and spend the whole fifty. You bullshitting. Mm-hmm. You man, you get you. You gotta treat your nose. Don't cheat your nose. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, this nigga toe up. Yeah, it right. stay out drugs, kids. That hey, shit no, really my, do. No, like, I'm just playing, kids. Hey, that no, shit. My brother was burning the nose up like right. that. Hey, man. hey, say Jay Hall, tell him, baby, you gotta, you gotta treat your nose. Don't cheat especially, your nose, baby. Especially at least stay out from <laughs> until you're 25 when your brain is fully developed. Yeah, and shit. Man. Right, right, yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you look, know what? Man, and that's another. That's another reason these. Uh, these kids uh, don't know how to humble themselves. Because they ain't on no cocaine? If they was on cocaine, they'd be straight. They on milk. They on fentanyl. They on fentanyl. Fentanyl, See, fentanyl. That's, old that's, shit. A, that's some new shit. See, when we were doing cocaine as youngsters, we wasn't doing that crazy shit. We were trying to break in some. <laughs> we were trying to take some. This nigga, crazy. that ain't crazy that shit. Ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. we were trying to get some money. Because yeah, we were trying to get yeah. high. Niggas just bad ass kids. Man. Yeah, we was just bad ass kids. Dick could we eat a train or two, that would mean we rob a store or two. That ain't yeah, so y'all were robbing it to get high? Hell no, nah, we were robbing it to get high and splurge. But we was in H and H when oh, we were young. We was in H and H and so you fifteen. Bad pussy. Ooh, I'm now imagine if all that money y'all robbed and stole for you saved. 
Are you are you put it towards investing? We did like invest that. it. We invested in clothes, money, drugs, and hoes. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> you <laughs> see that? Stop see that's something. Now you just you just touched on some that's 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 some totally um important that they don't do. Like if we would have had that, yeah. If we would have been taught financial literacy at a young age, mm-hmm. you if know what I'm saying? Taught, taught how to taught yeah. how to invest. Um, invest or save. Like I was taught how to save. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to teach me how to save money, but. That's as far as it went. When I went to school, shit, like shit, I in the house, my mama didn't have no hell of hell of a financial literacy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could admit that shit. She was mm-hmm. getting by, but they weren't teaching us that in school neither. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like if we would have had all that shit at a young age, even now, the shit that they teaching them kids really ain't ain't hitting mm-hmm. on shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So you know, if we had that, like like Pac Man say, what if you would have saved or, or or invested that shit? But what nobody teaching us no shit like that. You know we, what I'm saying? I mean, cause the niggas, the niggas that was that that was older than us, they money that we seen them niggas getting big money. Ain't wanna know what they invested in? Money, cars, clothes, and all. And that's what we saw, and that's what mm-hmm. we wanted to do. Yeah. Cause they didn't have no financial literacy now. Yeah, neither. Most of them niggas that that did hustle and ball back then and actually put into some businesses and shit, a lot of times the niggas were taking chances with their money, money, man, yeah. that had the opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't know how that shit was going to turn out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, for real. And then a lot of them that I know, a lot of them that I know that had money like that shit, they end up getting killed. Like, mm-hmm. for real. Like, the ones that really had the money. Like, them niggas was getting killed because they was in bullshit with hoes. You see what I'm saying? Right. And mm-hmm. so they weren't getting getting a chance to invest they motherfucking money. And the ones that did invest it, like, shit, Char- well, Charles Bruno, Charles Bruno invested, and I know Charles Bruno damn near made a million dollars in front of the projects because he had the store in the arcade right there. Man, look, I'm going to show y'all something. But like, Mr. Boom, my bad. Like, I'm going to show Boom. y'all something. Like, all these, all these gas stations and these neighborhood stores and shit. Mm-hmm. When we was younger, black, black folks had them. Yeah. If we had the financial literacy and the know-how, of, like even the guys that was balling and had the money back then, they could have got them stoves and them stoves could have still been in our know. neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. But look who got them, though. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Them foreigners come in here, shit. And, and they and, switch every time. And buy the motherfuckers out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the last stove, and I'm going to tell you, I watched Cuz them didn't budge for years right there at Cotton's. Yeah, they uh Nigga, old man, Mr. Cotton, he wouldn't budge for years. But he died. They were trying to buy that bitch. Mm-hmm. Didn't he die? But his people still had it. They yeah. still wasn't. They still wasn't budging for some years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what made them budge. But when I went in there after a couple months and I saw the shit changed and I saw the Iranian the foreigners in this motherfucker, they I said, oh, him. they didn't hit. A, they didn't hit a lick, man. You know how long that motherfucker been right there? Yeah, that's a lick. And then they said, that's him. a lick, dog. Yeah. But but my thing. And see, that's what I'm saying. But, but when I speak on it, people be feeling like I'm full of shit. I just be preaching shit like that. Because when I tell people, black people is losing right now worse than we ever lost but before we've been in lost. the history of America. Right. And yeah, but it's never been this we bad. We were never in the fight. It's never been this bad. We though. wasn't in the fight. Well, we was in the fight. We used to have our own neighborhoods. We used to own our own businesses, have our own bus lines. We used to have everything. Like, but you know how many businesses? You, you know had. how many businesses? Business niggas on the street port. Everybody got an LLC. Fuck you talking but that, about. But that, but that ain't that ain't that ain't. We talking about we talking about owning the land and a business right there on that motherfucker what? where you can re- where you can really generate some capital. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, now now the Arabs own all the land right but now. See, but, they, but see, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if if we would have if we would have been financially literate back then, the people that had the bread to do it. They they probably would have invested in that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they probably would have still had it to this day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But now we gotta hit every corner and we dealing with 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 a lot of Arab. Man, I'm gonna tell you, like a lot of them Arab. They don't like, like niggas. I, I saw a lot of them. I saw a lot, man. Shit. As I when I was young on the Cooper Road, a couple of them stoles, especially, especially right where you look at the one that's closed now. Say, man, I done watched a family grow up right there. And I come around different stoles I go to. Yeah. I see the same. Oh, they remember me from when I was younger. Like some of them mm-hmm. cats that yeah, got yeah. old, yeah. but they they spread throughout the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and families didn't didn't grow up and they didn't raise. I no telling how much. I no telling how much bread them people got and and how many families they raised. They let their people come in, yeah. let them run it for a couple of years, make them some money. You know what I'm saying? Then they don't pay taxes when they come over to this motherfucker with that shit. They get they give them money. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, they yeah. winning saying, all the way around. Imagine if we if we was on it, and this is another thing. This is uh, gonna be the only way we we get back in the fight. We gotta start supporting our rate. black we gotta, It ain't as bigger than it. it, it we gotta start operating as uh, as together. Like, all right, I might not have the money to go get one of them stoves right now, right? But if it's me, you, you, and you. Then now we got the money together, right? And we can go get that. And then after we all capitalize off of that, we can take our money and go get our own shit from that, right? You see what I'm saying? But it's gonna take that togetherness to to even have a fight because right now everybody else up on us, right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And like he said, they raising families, they whole families be on in them shits, yeah. Right? So it's like. We, we we gotta balance it out some type of way, but you gotta have like minded people who are willing to do this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And and that's all I wanna do. I wanna put this money back with us. Yeah, you, know, you like, gotta have people not 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 counting the next man pocket. Yeah. You're looking at you 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 invest what you invested and you yeah. getting what you get no, return you on it. You yeah yeah you not counting the next man pocket or none of that. Yeah, that, see, that that be our problem. Yeah, we we yeah, start yeah. counting each other pocket now we beefing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell you because see I'm selling. I mean I'm selling like ooh, the first time a nigga say you want to come buy me out you come get it and you got that right that's your portion. Mm-hmm. Ah right, you come get it because now. Yeah, but but what but, but what you said, uh, first time a nigga send it to a nigga. Though. Yeah, first time yeah. A nigga. I'm like, say boy, I, I got a deal for you. These some good old these some good niggas over here, boy. Come by into this shit, boy. Not knowing all long shit, I'm finna go invest into these sex workers. You know what I'm saying? Because this is <laughs> this nigga stuck on them sex workers, bro. Because say nigga yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> no, listen. Say, nah, say look, say say I'm start I'm 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 starting to look at these numbers. These these numbers. So you in a hot pursuit for a prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. You know, pimping ain't dead. It just moved to the internet. Yeah, yeah. All right, pimp C. That was that was yeah. pimp C. Yeah, that's what he said. You see what I'm saying? And I got a vision. And I, I got a vision. Candyland ain't got shit on Slim. Uglyville, man. I'm talking about you can get whatever type of bitch you want in Uglyville. Nah, you get something else in Uglyville. You can get whatever type of bitch you want in nah, Uglyville. Boy, they got all type of shit happening over there. Yeah, man. You can get, man. You can get a bitch to shit on you. Say, man, look, <laughs> man, look. Before we get out, look. I don't know where y'all gonna end it, but before we get out of here, man, I just want to let y'all know. Cause I be sitting back watching. I don't comment on a lot of shit. I share shit when I see it, or who to tell you, or uh, but man, I salute y'all, bro. Word. I've been I've been watching shit. Um, way hooded and transition, making music. Got this shit here. Um, yeah. like I just told you, your single, the yeah. one you put out with the graffiti and all that shit. There, that shit, that jam, and I like I that shit there. That, Ryan, and um, that. man, I just appreciate the shit you doing, the grassroots. Shit, you know what I'm saying? The the community shit. I be watching all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, like I say, I just sit back and pay attention to a lot of shit. I don't. Sometimes I get my input, and sometimes I don't. Um, a lot of people in a lot of different areas of different shit in the community, they be hollering at me on the back end, trying to bring me in on some shit. But I, I don't know, man. I be so. I just be so like. I don't like the bullshit, dog. I don't mm-hmm. like the bullshit. Like, well, you ain't I, gonna like being next to Pac Man because now the my Pac Man just done pulled you into some bullshit. But but now, but, but, I, but a lot of time, what I realized, what I realized, and what somebody told me, attacked, what somebody boy, told me the other know. day, you um, what somebody told me the other day, and 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 I ain't gonna just my sister Brika. I'm, I'm cool with Brika people's too. That's my. Dog. Um, I'm cool with. A lot of motherfuckers that's at odds with each other. Yeah, and that's crazy. But I play a neutral position. That's yeah. why I say shit. You can't get mad at me because of my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't stop me from fucking with you. Mm-hmm. You don't fuck with him. We not we not at all. Ain't nobody. I'm a neutral. I'm a neutral in a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. So I hear a lot of shit. I don't pay attention to a lot of shit. I ain't no cross shooting. I ain't saying this, saying that. But I was having a uh, conversation with uh, Breaker the other day, and she and she know like. My my dedication and how I feel about a lot of shit. And like I told her, like, man, I just don't be with the bullshit. But as I see, and I just got to test to it, that just come along with the fight. That just come along with doing the work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just got to get that embedded in my mind and just just do the work. But I don't be with the bullshit. I don't like a lot of the back and forth, riff raff. I don't like that bullshit. I'm going to tell you, one special once you get in it, like, it's going to be so much shit that, like, 
you ain't even used to for real like like cuz it ain't it ain't going to make no sense like, yeah yeah and that's like, that's the thing about it cuz and I don't mean to cut you off I was I was my partner um my partner Kenzie Montgomery he was running for the district up there off the Cooper Road last year he was running in the election um he brought me on to be part of his team some shit happened with some other motherfuckers that I know that was going against him Mm-hmm. They they pulled up a lot of dirt on him and caused him to fall out of the election. Mm-hmm. But the contact, mm-hmm. but the contact to get to him came through me. So now you gotta look at how I'm feeling. Like, goddamn, a nigga didn't hit me up to try to talk to cuz they didn't know shit about him. Mm-hmm. But saw me on the picture with him when he announced he was running. It was all on the news and shit. Saw me on the picture and saw me on the news, like, oh damn, that Jay, man, I can get I let Jay, man. So, nigga, holla at me. I ain't thinking nothing of it. Mm-hmm. Shoot out different information. Shit fucked around and blew up in my motherfucking face because the whole time, shit, well, when it come down to it, they found shit on him, and it was it was legitimate enough to make him run, fall out the race, but you used me to get there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I got. I, I don't know, understand and, that and, shit. And like, see, that, I that's what I'm saying. Man, that shit. That to. shit, man. That shit so dirty. Like, and, I got. And, yeah, and yeah. I swear to God, I, I swear to God, man, it's so much shit I don't speak on. People have a conversation with me, and they'll bring certain people up, and I literally act like I, I ain't hear them and talk about something else. Right. You know what I'm talking about? I change the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's a lot of unnecessary shit that be said. Like if you that I feel like if a lot of people just leave the shit alone, stop speaking on each other, the shit can die down. Yeah. You exactly. know what I'm saying? But people get in positions to where they so mad at some person, like they try to make other people like not like them. Yeah, not like them and choose sides and stay away from them. That's but bullshit. that's not your place. No, like, that's, that's bullshit. That's not your place. Like just leave, leave that alone. You, me and you got our relationship. Just focus on this. Cause, cause look, yeah. what, I'm, know, what, I'm, what I'm working, what I'm working for with you, you might not, you might not fuck with them people over there. We got some work we doing over here. I got some work I'm doing over here with these people too. Mm-hmm. That's all for the greater cause of us. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If we steady bring bring all that negative energy and fall back, well, ah, you fucking with that person, I can't fuck with you. Well, what we were trying to build on that, we can't build on that because you feel a way about this motherfucker mm-hmm. when I ain't did nothing to neither one of y'all. That's mm-hmm. y'all problem. Mm-hmm. But our bigger cause, our bigger point, and our bigger goal is us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's for the people, y'all. and the people, and and that's the whole thing. The people suffer because of this, because like, of that. Yeah, like right. it, because it, people can't see the bigger, the bigger uh, goal, the the, the 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 bigger agenda, and that's like when we was talking before we got on thing, and I said about said said said, you was like, well, yeah, you know, I'm do certain work, woo, 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 right, woo. right, you know what I'm saying, and. I say, yeah, I respect that work that, that, right. that go with that, you right. know, because I do, and it's needed in the community, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, there's no reason that I should tell you, oh, no, nah, man, you shouldn't fuck with such and such and such, you know, because they did this and that. No, nah, nah, you do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because this... Because who benefit off of it? Regardless of if I like that person's uh, viewpoints or how they go about it. Or, I know that what they doing is benefiting the community. It's benefiting so us. It, that's, you fuck with it. That's I they can't bottom, fuck with that's, it that's the, I don't fuck with them. That's the bottom so, line. You it's, do. it's for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's for the community. It's for the betterment of us as 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 a people, as a black people, as a black community right here in the city. It's for a betterment of us. So... All the all the negative bullshit that be spewed and throw back and forth amongst each other, that shit ain't helping nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, it it, it kill it kills some work mm-hmm. that could be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, well, damn, I see why I can go over and help. Well, might go help this person. I I don't fuck with such and such. You be over there with such and such. Fuck that got to do. I'm trying to help you with this. I see why I can help you with this. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't fuck with you because you will. Do- Damn, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. goddamn, like I ain't got nothing to do with sure. that. That's y'all. Mm-hmm. But I can still, I, I, like I say, I don't shoot no crosses, no, no, no slanders, no bullshit, no, no funny style shit. I can fuck with you and fuck with you too, and y'all ain't never gotta fuck with each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. because my bottom line, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the cause of what I'm here to work for, mm-hmm. and that's that. You know what and I'm like, saying? And like I told people before, I say, man, this shit. 
be pettier than street beef now. Now watch this here. Y'all sit here and talk about the kids and y'all talking about how the kids can't come together and they can't stop the vibes and all this type of shit, right? But the shit, and I told them this before too, the shit that y'all beefing about and y'all trying to pull other people and y'all beef about is way less serious than the shit these kids got going on. Right. People that lost their lives and shit with these kids and y'all want them to just kumbaya. Right. But y'all can't fucking kumbaya over words and shit like that and, and, and that shit don't be that serious to right. me. Right. I done seen real issues. Right. Real People have real reasons to walk. Right. Like, so this shit here that y'all be trying to People be trying to, like, have and pull me in and shit like that. Like, man, that shit don't be meaning nothing to me. I don't be want to talk about it. I don't entertain it. I, the only reason I even listen to it sometimes is because, like, motherfuckers, Kyle, I talk to motherfuckers every day, and we talk about other shit, and then you just throw that shit off in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I got to hear. Yeah. But and, and it really I, throw a crutch in the holes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit don't be about nothing, though. And I tell them, everybody, I tell everybody, like, man, I don't, I honestly don't give a fuck. Cause that shit ain't nothing. And see, that's my that's my whole stand. That's why I don't be with the boys. Cause I don't, man. I don't give a fuck. It's easy for me to not give a fuck. And and to give a fuck, not give a fuck part is not. It's not about not caring. It's just that, man, I don't give a fuck about that bullshit, man. What is we doing, man? Like, come on, bro. I don't want to hear about that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's not affecting me in no kind of way, man. What the fuck is we doing? What's the Mm -hmm. work? What we need to get accomplished? Mm -hmm. Fuck all that shit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Mm -hmm. That's between y'all, man. What is we here to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and if y'all can't get together, get along to get together, get get together to get along, I'm fine with that, too, Mm -hmm. because I'm going to play my role. And, and and remain neutral and try to get this shit done. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and a lot of time people be be spitting that shit on you so you can go back and tell them the next yeah, motherfucker. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and, and that's my thing. I promise you, man. Is no person, organization, or nothing like here. Like I got a lot of relationships with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It's no person or organization that I've ever talked bad to officials or nothing like that tried to hinder anybody money no shit like that like i want you to get yours the fa- what y'all think we getting w- that we not getting but what y'all think we getting like that that even if we was getting it that shouldn't matter like go get yours like go get your i promise to god we not trying to stop it see that promise that's to like god. when y'all had to um when y'all had the team summit okay i, I went Right. Yeah. Tell her, man. Shit, I'm gonna go check this this uh, this summit out with the males, cause it was a lot of shit I wanted to understand. Then I wanted to hear what Mickelson said. I, I never just really heard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, couple, you went to that shit. You know, such and such, and I'm throwing this shit. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm going <laughs> to get the knowledge that I want to get and, and mm-hmm. get an understanding on what I'm getting understand. I don't give a fuck who throwing it. I don't give a fuck. I, y'all could have been charged the twenty dollars to get at that motherfucker if I wanted to pay. To come see it, I'm gonna mm-hmm. pay to come see it because I I got a cause for what I'm going here to see it for. I don't give a damn who throwing it. Mm-hmm. it. I'm here for the reason that I'm here for. You see what I'm saying? So I just say that, man, to say, man, like with 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 organizations and the different people around here, I understand everybody gonna have their own agenda. Everybody ain't gonna get along. Everybody gonna be opinionated in their own right. But bruh, man. We got to find some kind of way to get along mm-hmm. to get the work and the causes accomplished that we need to get accomplished for us. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I, I say that because I sit back and I watch a lot of shit and a lot of motherfuckers be wanting me to speak up and, and say a lot of shit about a lot of shit, but I just don't. Mm-hmm. But, man, that's that's, just, that, that, that's what we got to do. And that's what I sit back and see. Like, man, it be too much bullshit. It's just like what you said with Slim Thug and ESG. How you were saying when they in the club, they be on different sides. We'll right. Be, man, it's just like this here, man. We got we holding an event, right? Uh, somebody holding an event. There's no reason why these people that don't like us or uh, whatever, we don't like them which I don't not like anybody but you know what I'm saying there's no reason we can't be in this same event as grown black adults supposed to be activists supposed to be motherfuckers that's that's role models for the community and shit like that why can't we coexist in the same venture to help people like we ain't gotta speak we ain't gotta do none of that shit like you know what I'm saying it's I swear to God 
when we first started this organization, cause we went to it, we offered this to any and everybody. This is what we said. We said, look, you already doing the work in the city, right? right? Just keep doing you, right? Just keep doing you. You ain't got to necessarily operate with us or none of that, right? Right. You ain't got to talk to us or none of that. Keep doing what you doing. We'll still bring you under our umbrella, and with the funding that we get. We'll help fund you. Right. Because it's going to help us get more funding. Right. But it's going to help you because you can get funding. Right. Right? Right. People act like they had so much hatred for certain people just because their names was on certain shit that they couldn't get with it. Like, right. And we're not saying come over here with us. We're not saying that. Not saying buddy up. Yeah, we not yeah, yeah. we not saying none of we just saying keep doing what you doing. Yeah. They couldn't even do that. They so much they had to attack us like they just it it it, it and it, that shit that I don't be getting it. Was. I don't be getting it cuz it don't be to me, to me. Yeah. It don't be that serious. Yeah, it don't be that serious, man. Like I say we got to we got to we got to get to the root cause of the business, man, and, and, and find ways to, you know, Find ways to work together. It's a lot of it's a lot of millionaire businessmen that work with other businessmen, and they don't even they not even friends. They don't even get along, but they handling the business. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta handle the business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all, we gotta go and wrap it up. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. But before I get out of here, I want to salute y'all, and I want to. Um, oh, I do a radio okay. show. I do a radio show every Tuesday. Uh, tell them, tell them when, where, how to get in touch with it. It's baby. um, I'm always posting that I'm trying to change the format or. Uh, Trying to get some other shit implemented as we speak, but right now I do it. Um, I do it through the Social Ghost Network. My boy, uh, shout out to the Social Ghost. Yeah, I do it through him. Um, and it's on the Mixler app. It's just a, it's just a um, raw uncut radio show. I do it for hours called GVO Radio. Um, I'm actually building a segment part of it to where it's like it's kind of like a podcast, but it's called GVO Convos. Um, GVO is my brand along with my label, um, Super Solid Entertainment. Um, like I'm strictly, strictly by good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Good vibes only came about with the song I got with Jeter Jones and just through the promoting of that song, I came up with the whole brand logo and everything. And, um, like I say, I, I pushed that as, as a clothing line. Um, I got a radio show that I do. Artists, if you got music, just submit it to me. I ain't charging no nigga to play their music. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, and shit, that's it. We I talk about different topics on there. Um, just like a, just like a cooler radio show. And like I say, shit, I got music that I'm working on. I got music that's out already. You can go to uh, Big Sack on YouTube, Big Sack on all the platforms. Um, Apple Music, everywhere, anywhere you can find your music, just type in B-I-G-S-A-C-C, -C, I'm a pop-up, you know what I'm saying? Um, salute to all, I just want to give a salute to all the artists that's doing it, young and old. If you still got something to say and you can make yourself relevant, man, spit that shit. Ain't no age on this shit, Killer Mike just showed you that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, he won three mm -hmm. Grammys at 48 years old. You know that what I'm saying? Jam, so and the, and the album jam. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So just spit that shit. That substance we we need it. If you got some of that, run that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know everybody, man. Just keep y'all grind up, man. And man, we just gotta bring this city together. We, it's a lot of positive shit finna go on around here. Light gonna be on us. We gotta make this shit work, man. Shit, we didn't had a couple chances to make it work, and we failed on it. We gotta make this shit work, man. Shreveport is a it's, it's it's a real special and unique place, and it's one of the main spots that hadn't had the light shine on it that it should have mm -hmm. in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? And like, I told y'all, I'm coming for everything you owe us. I told you. He just said, yeah, y'all been jacking us, the swagger jackals. Fuck you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, I'm here now. Yeah, I told y'all I was a goat. Big sack, tell him I'm a go. See who to be hating. I say, man, I, look, 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 boy. I, hey, boy, I've been in the ring with the best of them, boy, on that mic. All of them tell you I'm nice. All, the, all of them say, say that boy short and nice, man. Yeah, you know I man. So I'm, I'm, I'm coming for everything they owe me. <laughs> Remember, I started all this shit. You're lying. And this the motherfucking thanks I get. <laughs> now you see what I'm saying? We here. Look, look, I'm a look, 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 look. I told y'all, ugly man trendsetter. 
I told you, man, look, I want to appreciate you, man, for all... Uh, for blessing us, man. You know what I'm saying? With All your right. presence, my brother. Yes, sir. And we're gonna we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to get together, man, and, and, and do some shit, man, with uh get vibes on it. Good with vibes on it. I'm with all that. I'm with all that. You know what I'm saying? Look, I always remember to inspire the youth. That's what I'm here for. And look, all my sex workers. Gotta stop the beefing, baby. There's enough money out here for everybody. You heard me. Him. They really gonna fuck with us now because they gonna think we got a Jew dude on our team. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna they gonna they gonna think we important with him and Sean. We just need him and Sean to like like be on some pictures with us in front of the equipment with him and Sean. <laughs> I swear to God. But that people gonna think nigga, they be like, man, them niggas got some light skinned niggas with good hair with them. You know they probably be kidding the drink. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But look, man, this your boy, man, LTL Ugly. You know, man, the myth, the legend. I'm the voice of the ratchet. Yeah. This your mm-hmm. boy, Nesto the Dunn. Yeah, Iceberg Peg, man. I'm out. Man, big sack, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Much love. Good vibes only, man. And I know what you're waiting on. Stay super solid. Already, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your Ooh-wee. boy, Sweet Peg, man. Nah, man, you got that. You you got that. What the fuck you think you was silk? <laughs> oh, you see it? Nah, you, you, you know, know, so, know so, so, so you So you was silk, the R&B band. You know what this is? That's a turtleneck? Uh, these are uh, pajamas. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that's one of them shirts Gully be wearing when he be going to the concert. <laughs> yeah, he talking about goddamn silk. Boy, get your ass. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> this ain't my business, but I just know about it.